Welcome everybody out there in lovely virus land. Oh my lord, we got a funsy here. Uh, this is basically a five track CD changer player um, that I have and I'm trying to figure out what to do with. Either figure out it doesn't work, it's junk, strip it down and salvage like I do a lot of times. I did get it from the dump so a while ago. I've had it open to this point. I've had this the tray out net. It was just so dirty. It had to. It had to because it was just nasty. Just to clean it out and that. Um, that's all I've had it apart though. I haven't plugged it in or anything yet. So you're gonna see it live. If it blows up and rots my face off, you're gonna catch it live right here now, or right here. So first things first, I want to mention on the coronavirus. I do want to pray for everyone and anyone out there that is dealing with it or will be doing with it uh i'm praying for you and we're all gonna make it through this you know just keep pumping videos out and uh i think it's a big time for uh us youtube guys obviously i'm one of the smallest ones out there and i don't pay a nickel for any advertising or anything so that helps and if you're stressing about it or whatever, um, you know, they say, and this is what gets me, you have nothing to worry about unless you're an older person or unless you have a uh, an at-risk immune system. Well, I do. I do. I have an at-risk immune system. I have a, what you call, a weakened immune system. Well, as you can tell by why my hands don't go fly straight, so what not. But anyways, do you hear hear me cry I am not worried and if I do get hit and I happen to die I know where I'm going so I'm not that worried it would be nice to live let's start right there so we don't need to talk much more about that but I do uh, pray everyone out there is doing well and wish the best for all of you and your family and your friends because this is just nasty and it's only gonna get nastier but anyways back to this guy Panasonic we got this is model SL slash PC394. Actually stamped on the back is April 1991. So is what we're going to do here. Say plug it in. We're going to monitor. It's a 17 watt unit. We're going to monitor and see what the current draw is. Uh, see what our voltage is at for today. I, earlier it was 122. And that's probably what's going to be 122 volts here in western New York in the US of A. See how it works. After we plug it in, we're going to see if we can get it working or if it's just a disaster. I don't want it, don't need it, don't have no use for it. Uh, listening to music really it makes my head just even worse than usually is so is what I got here I got right and left so white and red coming out the back into a single slot a little Jimmy job here I did uh, speaker just a quick hookup just so I want to put both into one in case one's working not the other um, I know enough to scare some people with uh, power supplies and that but when it comes to audio, I'm still learning. So this could be fun and shocking. <laughs> oh, first I wanted to show you, it did come with the remote, which is strange. Very strange for something that I, that I got from the dumps. But check this out. And this is something maybe you guys didn't know or you'll learn. Uh, to check your remotes. Now, you, have to, you can't have the infrared filter. Otherwise, like my phone, my cell phone. Uh, won't won't pick it up iPhone uh, 6 yes it won't pick it up it has I don't know how to do it on that I'd have to pull it apart and remove the filter but uh, my camera doesn't you guys should see that now I can't actually I, I think I can on the yeah I know just on the video I'm watching of my recording because I was so sick of being out of out of shot so many times and I still will but anyways back to this let's hook it get it shoot it going 
right over here that ain't gonna help is it no I'll just show you is what I have it is my isolation transformer plugged in and then off of that I have it ran to yep it's right here have it plugged in in the bottom here going up to my dim bulb unit it's a 150 watt bulb that's a floodlight in it and then it's plugged in run through this so actually it's not it's run up through the dim bulb and you're not gonna be able to see it if I do it through the dim bulb I'm just gonna do it through the isolation transformer and pray maybe because it's gonna be a pain oh, I can grab a plug quick I guess maybe oh fumble that's that's the sound of a fumble yeah I got a quick plug here zap this in I want to make sure that you guys can see all the readings in that. So maybe this will work better. I can actually get it right where... Oh, good thing I notched that out right there. Fit three in the two. Now maybe I can get this to get in the camera a little better. Uh, I got serious operations going on here. Not bad operate. I mean electronic operations. My power supply that I always used dumped out on me but I have the mother of all precision power supply monitoring you can imagine coming coming up um, yeah let's see what we got cheap and everyone knows I'm very cheap it's like twelve dollars for this this is uh no, oh, I forget. This was a six dollar one. This isn't for that. And then this one of the. This is a buck boost converter. It goes up to like fifty volts. Oh yeah, this is a electronic load then, up to like thirty five watts through it, or something like that. But then I can also on the output add something like say something like this, you know, a heat sink, and get more to go through it than that. Uh, this one is, so this one, yes, this is the load here. This one does, yeah, you, you understand. Uh, so the load will actually monitor so I can do my lithium ions and drain them down and actually keep track of what's going on. Same with this, it's a parameter. Uh, just, just regulates, it just uh, evaluates and keeps track of the measurements and track of time and everything else going through it which is nice and hopefully I'll have my other power supply back up I'll probably have to do a video on that it's shorted shorted on it's going to be totally changed from the way it was but it's shorted on the input so and then the power supply I used which is uh was a Yamaha 150 watt old style radio yeah to feed it with some nice DC anyways let's get this going so I'm um, here's here hello so we are triggering turning this on this is fed by this plug from the wall boom into here this is my isolation transformer and also my was it 293 volts coming out of this plug here if i ever plug into it i have it plugged off right now so i don't accidentally stuff something in it so once it turns on out of the isolation transformer is my dim bulb so out of the dim bulb is an extension cord right here to the power meter and hopefully that shows up and i'm gonna hit it one three two one bang boom and what do we got what oh i gotta flip the switch sorry about that bang okay we got zero and I have nothing going on on this unit. I'm going to hit power. I'll actually do it with this. And I don't have to have my hands on it. Oh, we got 2.7 watts doing nothing. So that's at idle. 2.7. I just hit power. I hear it clicking, but I hear nothing happening. Very silent clicking. Let's see if I can get this where you guys can still see it. It's always, always, everything's always impossible to to line up oh no there it goes oh gee oh wee gee oh jeez that thing i gotta figure out how to turn the keep the light on there's no reason for it to turn up but i'm gonna hit the power by okay it's on bang we got bang i got five discs showing maybe i could show you this 
yeah on the front it's showing the five disc right along the top here yeah you see it the five and the count time on disc four let me uh i want to at least do an original i don't want to do a burn disc just because uh there might be a chance it just can't read the burn disc so wild ones i have no idea what that is i don't even know where it come from we're up to eight watts nine watts that's just turning the tray i'll hit play and let's see what happens here i can't i doubt it's gonna play oh what is this reading let's see uh 122 volts come on just stay still just stay 113 milliamps just a snare cotton snare too long there uh 113 still nothing happening okay i got something going on don't have discs bin Oh yeah, it is spinning. So it's locking into the disc. Now I don't remember how this... See, I do have a CD thing to drop on that to lock it in. So it don't do that, yeah. It's the magnet. Where'd the magnet go? Oh, nice. Where did I put it? It's specially meant for... CD players. It looks just like this, but it has a. It's gonna do it again. It has a magnet attached to it. Oh, look at this thing working me over. No! No! Stop! Stop! Okay, head spinning. Boy, that sucker's dirty. I see just how dirty it is. Okay. Looks like that ain't too bad. Where did I put that? I If it's important, I would have stuck it right here. So, I think it's this. Right? Yes, it's right here. Sweet. Something always falls off. <laughs> and another one. Yeah. Bingo. Okay, here's what they are. These things are actually very important with CD players. Some use it, some don't. This one uses it. This one's the cheap one. It, it just locks it in. By pressure these three tabs lock in the disc and then this is locked into it uh, right the right one somehow that locks together anyhow I'm just gonna drop this on once it's ready it should bloop. yeah perfect so okay let's try this again we'll hit play And see how it. Oh. Yeah, I didn't make it very happy doing that. Now, still no sound. No sound at all. I'm not sure it's up at the sound. So I'm going to have to get in here and open this. I think this can stay like that. Uh, volume. I better make sure I have volume up. Right? Is that working?
volume don't seem to register on here. Right? It should, right? Ah, uh, sir. You know, does that have to go? It still should play. It shouldn't have to go through a tuner. Volume is not doing anything on here. Whoop. Where'd my magnet go? Well, you stole my magnet. What do you want? How did it thieve that? How strange is that? Catch! Oh yeah, it caught up in here. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. I can't see it. Only you guys can. Okay, it's working. Nothing here though. It is reading up the disc that it is playing it. Just no volume. I don't know where the, there was something that said remote in the back, so no volume. Uh, oscilloscope would show me if I have signal. Shut it off for a second here. Let me get my little swilly scope. To me, don't you care? Oh, there's the magnet piece. Should be a this one not magnetic? Guess not. It is magnetic. That one is. No, is this one? Nope. Let's see. Oh, it takes always a little bit to hook this up. And to figure it out is even worse than that. So I can go bang to bang. Oh, I can go. What do I need for this 12? 
so I'm at 12.2 on this, which is good. I'll hook this up. off until I hit the button so that's good because I don't want it snapping on a little red and a little red and black Okay, that's hooked. Check the voltage if I can. That is, oh, nothing because it's not on. Let's see where negative is. Negative. Negatives in the middle, I need positive in the middle, so I gotta swap these. Whoa. Oh, maybe that's why that one is that black. I think it is. And then this would be one more time. Negative 12. That ain't right. I guess I didn't flip it. This one I want red. Let's get that way. That's the way I don't forget it. I'll mark it. And as long as I didn't mark the wrong one. Why do you keep going, diving for that one? It's wanting to short up. Let's plug it in. Yes! And I might bump it to 13 volts. It seems to be happy with 13, usually. Happiest. And the probe. Probe it. Did it do shut? Whoa! Why'd that shut off? The whole thing shut right off? Uh oh.
What did it blow the thing up? Should take an amp. There we go. Yeah, zip an amp. All right, I have to go to backup number two. What do we got here? Eleven point seven. There we go. Yeah. Gotta love this for a... Guess how much this bad boy costs. It almost has it right on here. You won't believe it. Goes from 1 to 21 volts. These are my 18650s. So if you have your own 18650s, you can buy this unit. $12. $12 adjustable from 3 to, what's it say, 3, 5, 6, might be 8 or 9, I, I think 9, and then over here it's 21, 19, 18, 16, you just set what voltage you want output and you hit the button, bango, with, that's with the output, you have 5 volts, out also, as long as you don't short these two together, you'll be all right. Okay, we're up in action. Now, is this thing gonna 